Malik from The Mad Mix here. Today I'm gonna to be interviewing an entrepreneur, a businessman, and a dope ass designer by the name of Cajun Miseraka. Come on in, Cajun. Hey, Doc. Thanks. What's up, man? Glad to have you on the on the segment. What exactly got you into design and art? Like, where did you come from? What got me into design is my passion for creating and building things from scratch. At a very young age, I started doing that with Lego or drawing, and that really pushed me into path of going into design, but then I got into high school and that's when I actually got introduced to it. So I took some classes like media arts, com tech, and visual arts, and it really opened my mind to it and nice. made me realize I want to go into design. And then it came time I had to apply for college, yeah. and I really didn't know what to do. I was debating between architecture, graphic design, but then I chose graphic design because I knew it was a perfect fit for me. It was the two my favorite things I like, it's technology and design all in one. The clothing company is called Dangerous, tell me a little bit about it. I wanted a name that would sell itself, not something like Cajun's clothing. I wanted something just simple. So it happened in second year. I was sitting in one of my elective class, absolutely hating it because it just <laughs> wasn't anything to do with design. Right. And it was actually called Dangerous Earth. So I was really bored. I started to sketch out different articles of clothing, like hoodies, t-shirts, pants, but I still didn't have a name or a logo yet. And then I kind of just looked down at my textbook and was like, aha, that's it. And what designers call this is an aha moment. So I had an aha moment. I saw the word dangerous. I was like, that's it, that's what I'm gonna do. So I grabbed a marker, a brush marker, and started writing out Dangerous a bunch of times, over and over and over. About 100 times I read it out, and I finally was like, that's the logo, that's the one I'm gonna do. So how does your, your vision as a designer play into your clothing and what Dangerous really means? Being a designer at art really helps me in the fashion world because it allows me to create it the way I want, not the way other corporations would. So it allows me to look at the whole piece of clothing itself and not follow simple trends. Like a lot of people put stuff on the hoods or the sleeves. Yeah. I want something simple and unique. Something that's simple and screams dangerous, but it's bold. So something like this t-shirt. It's simple, it's black, nothing to it, except for the white, bold lettering, dangerous. That's always been my slogan for my designs because yeah, you can create something elaborate, like you said, but that's not always appealing. The hardest challenge in design is keeping something very simple but making it just as good as something elaborate and keeping the people impressed just as much. So some people could look at a crazy illustration and be like, wow, that guy's talented. Or you could look at one simple typeface and the other and the, the client still being like, wow, that guy's talented. And that's what I'm trying to achieve with Dangerous. Absolutely. How would you try and sell through uh, a totally different design than what I was expecting if I were one of your clients? By giving you real life examples. So like I said before, there's emotion in a lot of different designs, like mm -hmm. color evoke emotion, different typefaces evoke emotion. So if I'm gonna present you a different idea and I'm actually gonna be able to convince you, I have to show you proof, examples. Mm -hmm. So I would, let's say you want a logo that's gonna evoke happiness. I'm gonna show you a different logo that's invoking happiness. I'm gonna say, hey look, why? what's this logo give you? What feels does it give you? And if you say, I don't know, I just feel happy when I look at it, it's like fun, it's hip. Mm -hmm. Well, is that what you're trying to achieve? If so, well, look what colors they use. Look what typefaces they use. Look how they designed it. Look at the elements in it. Look how the whole layout is. And I would say, look at this. You need something, not copying this, but something on the same along, along the same lines. Because if they're achieving it, then you, why can't you in a different way or a better way? Uh, once again, this is Cajun Miseraka, talented man of many talents, uh, businessman, entrepreneur, graphic designer, strategic designer, now that I have a little bit of more insight. So thank you so much for being on the show, man. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. I had a gift for you guys. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Damn, he's reaching in the backpack. So I brought you guys a little gift for having me on the show. Oh, okay. Go. Dangerous. All right, man, this is Go. awesome. Thanks so much. No Once problem. again, this is Cajun Miseraka from Dangerous Clothing. Uh, thanks so much again for being on the show. Can't wait to try this on. Uh, check out their website and social handles that we'll post here. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Once again, this is Dangerous Clothing. Tune in next time to the Mad Mix uh, for more great content. Did you enjoy that video? Then you'll also enjoy our blog content. Posted every Tuesday and Friday at 7 o'clock at themadmix.com. Subscribe. See you there.